Don't f with the chuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on guys? Mr. Jason back here again with another unboxing video for you guys. And I'm a little late to the party with this one. I'm sure there's quite a few unboxings out there already, but I actually pre-ordered this a little late. This is the Child's Play 4Ks of Parts 1, 2, and 3 from Scream Factory. I got the bundle with the posters and the extra slipcovers. The story with that is, at first I didn't plan on, like, picking these up at all. I was just like, I'll just get them individually cheaper at retail. Which usually, like, Best Buy or whatever would come to about, like, $90 plus tax. So a little more than $90. And I think I paid about, like, between $115 and $120 for the extra posters and... The slipcover, so that's like a no-brainer right there. If you're able to get, I mean, it's sold out now, but if you, my intention of last-minute pre-ordering was only $30 more, you get quite a few extra stuff, which was, to me, worth it for the few extra things, the posters and the slipcovers. But I found out that there was only like 30 left the day of that they sold out. The uh, Scream Factory announced on their social media there was only 30 left for that bundle. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Only $30 more, get extra stuff, I, so I pre-ordered it. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And it, I did a little late last minute, like I said, so I'm a little late to the party. Finally got this yesterday, but I'm a day late recording the video just for the fact that I was busy. Things came up yesterday, but anyways, we're going to get to this unboxing. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you enjoy content related to physical media, food reviews, taste tests, out and abouts, conventions, wrestling events, anything. Just anything that is my hobby, my interest, I want to share with my community and anybody who else is coming across this channel. I just want to share with everybody. So anything related to that, if you enjoy that content, please subscribe. You won't regret it. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're just returning to watch another one of my dumb face on my videos, thank you. I appreciate it very much. But we're going to get right into this. Like I said, this is from Scream Factory. I got my handy dandy keys. This is the Child's Play 4Ks with the posters and the slip covers. They also had some that came, another bundle that came with the pins, the enamel pins that Scream Factory is known for, where you have to pay an extra like $60 or so, which I'm sure most people usually don't. I don't care about the enamel pins. I only did it for the Halloween. Anyways, I opened up the box. This is what you first see. Shelf Factory gift wrap of some sort. Then of course, you got the big uh, bubble mailer for the posters. Oh, yeah, five posters. I don't know why I said three posters. But yeah, these are the posters you will get. Of course, you got Child's Play 2. And then the alternate art cover for 3. Then 2 right there. The alternate art cover. And then Child's Play 3, the regular poster. And Child's Play 1, the regular theatrical poster. I might show you guys this. I mean, so five posters in here. So it might be a little difficult to kind of give a look into it but this is what it's looking like right here all of them are just basically all together so I have them out I might as well attempt to but we're gonna do the movies first and this is the way they packed them I'm sure people probably already complain about this me as long as the discs work I usually don't care but they just had the bubble mailers in there now they just have the movies just thrown in here I don't know if you can really see I can't the box is too big but no bubble wrap or anything they just had them all thrown in there Joe Factory, if you're seeing this somehow, or Scream Factory, um, yeah, you might want to recommend some bubble mailers of some sort. And first off, here we have Child's Play, the first one, the original on 4K. I don't know if it's going to really go in focus, but if it does, you can kind of pause it and look at the blurry special features, or I can read them off to you. My phone's camera, I, I record from like the front of the screen, the front lens, so it doesn't focus the way it should. But anyways, it comes with special features. Disc 1 is the feature film 4K UHD. It's got the new 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative. New Dolby Atmos track. Audio commentary with director Tom Holland. Audio commentary with actors Alex Vincent. I've actually met him. Cool dude. And Catherine Hicks and Chucky designer Kevin Yeager. I can't really pronounce that. Audio commentary with producer David... Some of these names I'm not even going to pronounce because I really can't. Screenwriter Don Mancini. Select scene commentary by Chucky. Select scene, yeah, scene commentary. Disc 2 is the feature film on Blu-ray. Basically all the same special features. And then disc 3 is the special features Blu-ray, which comes with behind-the-scenes special effects footage. Howard Berger, I think that's how you pronounce it. Your special effects front till the end. Life Behind the Mask being Chucky. Interview with actor Ed Gill. Evil Comes in Small Packages. Kind of pretty much all the special features that were on the previous release. 
But right here is the first one. I'm going to open this bad boy up, give you an inside look of Child's Play 1's 4K disc and all that. And Best Buy is going to have an exclusive. The official release date for this is next week on August 16th. And Best Buy ex exclusive is going to be a steel book of this one. That's it. There's not going to be um, two or three. They just have the steel book of the first one. I'll put a screenshot of that. Then you got your first disc right here. That's the 4K. I like the artwork they chose for the disc. I saw them already online. I just thought they were pretty cool. I like that scene right there. And then Here's the Blu-ray disc, and then the Blu-ray special features. But that's the first one, there's plenty more to come, plenty more to showcase here. So grab some popcorn, grab some snacks, grab some drinks, whatever it might be. Kick back, relax, and enjoy yourself, hopefully anyways. And then we're going to move on to Child's Play Part 2, right here. Uh, it's not really going to focus, but pause and try to read the special features if you just want to read them. I'll read them up to you anyways. New 4K scan of the original camera negative. Audio commentary with director John Lafia. And disc 2 is the Blu-ray. And it's the new 4K scan. I actually want to mention right now, since Scream Factory, this is the first time that they put 2 and 3 on under their label, like Scream Factory. There's not 3 disc. So I guess, I'm not really sure how they did it, but like the first one needed a, a Blu-ray disc of its own special features, but... The Blu-ray disc of its own with the feature film has the Blu-ray as well. So I, I, I don't know how they chose that. But anyways, uh, you get your, on the Blu-ray disc is the 4K scan of the original camera negative. New Puppet Master interview with writer Don Mancini. New Under Pressure interview with actor Alan, Alex Vincent. New The Family Expanse interview. So all these special features are new because like I said, Scream Factory never released these. This is their first time releasing it. And then you got New and Kyle We Trust, interview with actress Christine. I, there's some wording covering that because the plastic says disc made in Mexico, so it's kind of covering that. Can't really read it. But anyways, you get the idea. It's behind the scenes featurettes and all that stuff. Definitely new special features that weren't on any of the previous editions of other, like uh, whoever released the other Blu-ray releases. Universal, I should say. And open this up and give you guys a look of the inside of the artwork and or the disc work, I should say. And of course, you got your 4K disc right here. Just kind of putting it at whatever position it is so you get you can see it not upside down. And then you get the Blu-ray disc right there. Cool artwork on here. I will say part one and part two are my favorites. Part three was good. I mean, it's Chucky, so it's good. But, eh, and Bright of Chucky... And um, the other Chucky movies, you got Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Cult of Chucky, I believe. That's a whole different situation, I'm not sure, Can't I can't remember exactly what. I'm, like, my brain is just blocked right now, I'm just kind of trying to get through these, because I'm recording four videos, like, one after another, so, you know, my brain's just somewhat not functioning, but I think due to, like, licensing issues and stuff, Scream Factory couldn't do all of them, maybe, I could be wrong about that. But um, I think Dimensions did Bride of Chucky or something. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Um, so, yeah. Right there. My two favorites are part one and two. The others are good, but those are my two favorites. And then we're moving on to Child's Play 3. Right here. Boom. If, you, if it's focused enough, just pause it if you want to read the special features. I'll read some of them off to you. Of course, disc one is the, fo the 4K disc. New 4K scan of the original camera negative. Audio commentary by director Jack Bender, which is actually new. Audio commentary by producer Robert Latham Brown. And then disc 2 is the Blu-ray. You get the new 4K scan of the original camera negative. You guys, all these are new. Like I said, never been... This is Scream Factory's first time releasing, so these are all new special features. Your typical, like, behind the feet, uh, behind the scene features and interviews and all that. I don't want to take, make this video too long, so... If it focuses enough, just pause it if you want to read them. Oops, I just dropped it. And I'm going to open this up and give you an idea of what the disc art looks like. And here you go. You got your 4K disc right there. And you got your Blu-ray disc right there. Don't F with the Chuck, you know. Uh, let's see. And then these next are actually the bonus slipcovers with the alternate artwork. 
if anyone wants to use those slip covers per, over the actual movie posters, which I'm not going to do, I'm just going to keep these as a collectible. Now, like I said, it was only like $30 more compared to buying the three movies individually from retail. Um, where's my keys? Whatever, can't find them at the moment. And just, you spend $30 more, you get the five posters and two slip covers. Like if you prefer the different artwork, here's a slip cover for part three. Covering up the dude's face with my fingers. Chucky's about to get a haircut. And then you get your child's play too. I like the alternate artwork. I like how they put Andy and um, I forget the girl's name already, sadly. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed her character in this movie. So you got both of them right there. You got Chucky on the back. See, like, like, I really like that artwork. But those are the slip covers. I'm going to try my best to kind of get the posters without ruining them too much. So you can at least, I mean, you basically already know what the posters, like the artwork on the posters and all that. But for those who didn't get this bundle, I'm going to kind of just show you what they look like in full size. You get your Child's Play 2, uh, not 2, 3, my apologies. And then you get Child's Play 1. I, I understand, like, people do unboxings, they kind of do it where they just lay the items on a table or whatever. I don't have that set up. I just lay the phone up on a table and it just, I use the front camera lens, like I said, just recording whatever I'm doing. And I'd rather have myself on the camera for whatever reason. I think some people enjoy it that way. And then you get the Child's Play 2 artwork right there. And then you got coming up the alternate artwork. Sad. If you hear that noise, my cat's going in the box. But you got your alternate artwork right here. Sadly, I can't really hang these up. I got no room to put anything. Child's Play 2. But when it comes to the classic movies, hey, relax. Just making too much noise. When it comes to the classic car movies, like Chucky, Freddy, Michael, Jason, those are my all-time favorite classics compared to something like in older years, you know, like the Universal Monsters, Wolfman and all that stuff. Those aren't my favorite. My favorites are Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Child's Play, Halloween, Friday the 13th. Those are my mains. So I'm trying to collect their 4Ks and any chance I have to be able to get like posters of this size for those movies, I'm all about it. And whenever I have the opportunity to hand them up in frames or whatnot, of course, I'll do it. But I did my best to kind of showcase as much as I could. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this was done well enough. I know it's a little, like I said, my mind is elsewhere at the moment because I'm just trying to record four videos basically in one go. So, and I got my cat here distracting me. Making so much noise, just chilling in the box. So, I apologize for that as well. I'm just going to gently place that down so she can just relax. Hopefully not make too much noise for my other videos. But yeah, that's actually going to do it for this video. This unboxing here, hopefully it didn't drag on too long. You get the 4K Blu-rays. I'm really excited to check these out for the first time in 4K. Like I said, those are my main classics and I really love watching those and seeing how good they look in 4K. You got your slip covers, you get the posters, and you got a cat in a box making too much noise, right? <laughs> and there's the posters right here. But guys, just drop some comments down below and let me know how you're getting these movies if you plan on picking them up. If you're just going for them individually, um, if you're gonna get the set with the pins, because I believe those are still available, but the ones with just the poster and the slip covers, I think it was like 40 or $50 cheaper or something like that without the pins and it's sold out. I can see why, because nobody cares about those pins. But if you wanted to get the posters and slip covers, the best deal would be to get the one with the pins, sadly. If you don't care about the pins, I guess it's still worth it to get the posters and the slip covers. I don't, I can't remember correctly if there's a bundle with just the post, um, what am I talking about? This is the bundle. Wow. I don't know if there's a bundle to just get the slip covers in the movies. Or vice versa, just the posters. I think you get the posters individually with the movies. I'm not sure like what other bundles they have. But the main ones were the ones with the slipcovers, posters, 
and then the one with the pins with posters and slip covers. Let me know which one you guys cho uh, chose to get if you're getting them individually from retail just to save $30 or so. I mean, either way, whatever works best for you. But this, to me, this was the best deal. I was able to get it before it sold out, which is why I did. So let me know what you guys thought about these. If you already checked them out in 4K, if you were able to get them already, if they arrived at your house, if you ordered from Scream Factory, what you thought about them. Are they good transfers? Get my hopes up, built more. Come on, guys, I really appreciate it. What you thought about the special features. If you're a Chucky fan in general, if for some reason you're just watching this and you're not really that big of a Chucky fan, Watch out. You know what they say. Don't with the chuck. So keep an eye out for that. But guys, anything interacting with anything related to child's play, interact. Drop some comments down below, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, just return to watch another one of my videos with my crazy cat. I appreciate it very much. She does as well, right? And yeah, so... I, I gotta start recording my other videos, but everybody, thanks for being here. I appreciate it very much, but I will see you in the next one. Take care.